Konnichiwa, my name is Saskia Broyston um, and I'm the CEO of the Grameen Creative Lab. Um, we are a social business and our role is to promote the idea of social business and to set up social businesses all around the world. Um, social businesses are companies that have a social goal but otherwise work financially self-sustainable. Um, they're non-dividend companies as well. We were founded by Peace Nobel Laureate uh, Professor Mohamed Yunus and a German entrepreneur and um, are active in both Germany but also have offices around the world in Mumbai, in Haiti and in uh, Colombia currently. Um, in the past uh, we've done many exciting things over the last two and a half years. Um, we've um, set up uh, social business joint ventures with large corporations including companies like um, the chemical company BSF, uh, the shoe uh, manufacturing company um, Adidas, um, other companies including uh, German um, uh, retail giant um, Otto and so on and so on. Also set up social business joint ventures with um, Japanese companies. Um, one of them that you might know is Fast Retailing which um, own the brand Uniqlo um, that have um, been setting up textile factories in Bangladesh um, as social business. Um, and another one is Yukigune Maitake, um, that is also doing um, an agricultural social business in Bangladesh currently. Um, next to that, uh, we have conducted social business lab workshops um, uh, over 55 times all around the world, uh, among others also, of course, in Japan. Um, we have um, created um, a GCL um, uh, at uh, Kyushu University, so there's a wonderful university collaboration um, that we have um, with you here in Kyushu, led by Professor Masa Okada, um, that is a, um, a teaching and incubation um, hub um, in Japan. Additionally, uh, we have set up um, social business funds, um, one of them being in Mumbai, and the other one being in Haiti. Um, and that is also exactly the reason um, why I would like to speak to you today. Why Haiti? Japan and Haiti are, are of course completely different places. Japan is one of uh, the leading economies in the world and number three in terms of GDP in, in the entire world, whereas Haiti is of course um, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. So completely different worlds that we're looking at. Japan is a gigantic company, a country with over 125 uh, million um, uh, people living there, whereas Haiti is of course a small, also an island, but uh, a much smaller island with around about 10 million people here. Of course the status of development is vastly different, no question. Japan is at the forefront of innovation, uh, ec extremely modern um, and um, has been a leader in, in, in many, many fields, technology and so on in the world. So of course Japan and Haiti are completely different places. Still I'd like to share um, uh, the experience um, on Haiti with you because of course there is one thing that um, combines both countries and that is um, a terrible earthquake that has happened um, to both of you. Um, you might know that um, in Haiti on January 12th um, last year 2010 uh, a terrible earthquake has struck. It was um, a, a magnitude of seven. Um, over uh, uh, 300,000 people died, um, a similar amount of people were injured and um, almost 2 million people were left homeless in a country of 10 million, 2 million is of course an incredible uh, percentage. Um, and um, right now um, Haiti is of course on the path of reconstruction and rebuilding. Um, in Japan also of course an, a terrible disaster has happened. Uh, several thousand, 18,000, 19,000 people are, um, have died or are missing and um, uh, of course in addition to that uh, there's been a terrible nuclear disaster where nobody really knows at this point um, what is going to be the outcome um, in the end. So of course Japan has been hit extremely hardly. Um, less buildings might have, been, uh, might have collapsed but still it is going to have an incredible impact um, on Japanese economy, on particular uh, single people that have been affected um, on their families um, and basically on even the entire world. Japan is of course highly integrated with the entire economy of the world. Um, so uh, we deeply, f we here in Germany and in other places of the world of course deeply feel uh, with what you're going through here in Japan. Um, in any case, um, what I wanted to sh uh, sh share with you today is, is our experience in Haiti and maybe there are a few things that uh, you can take as ideas um, for your rebuilding efforts in Japan as well. So what have we done in Haiti and what and how did it all come about? 
Um, basically what we said is um, there's enormous relief efforts happening. After the earthquake, um, millions and millions um, have been uh, brought in resources and in people to Haiti to basically help the rebuilding effort. Um, and often if you have uh, natural disasters like that, you see the international community being very passionate um, very much at the beginning um, and, and, uh, doing, and trying to do their best um, uh, to be successful. Um, and then over time, um, uh, sometimes the companies, the countries are, are somewhat left on their own and um, need, basically need to um, find a way to be sustainable in the long run. Um, and um, that is exactly what we tried to focus on. We did not focus on the direct relief effort uh, right um, in, in early January, um, but said we would like to build an infrastructure um, and a way to basically create um, sustainable solutions for, for, for Haiti in the long run. And basically after the research that we did, we decided to set up a social business fund. Um, so what is a social business fund? Social business fund is like a venture capital fund that you might, most of you might know. It's a fund that invests in um, small st stage social businesses um, that all solve some kind of a social problem, of course, that invests in these businesses and these businesses over time repay the money into the fund and then the fund reinvests it again into new social businesses. These re give it back to the fund, the fund again reinvests it and so on and so on. So, if you see, the fund is somehow a recycling facility of capital and um, it works different than a normal donation-based model in the sense that it invests its money and it gets it back from the businesses again and invests it. So in other words, the dollar that you put into a social business fund uh, doesn't only have one life, it has many, many lives. Um, and uh, this is basically the approach that we have taken in, in Haiti. So what have we done? Um, in the last year we've um, set up our local operations, um, our office, uh, we have our local staff there now. Um, we have um, gone through the due diligence of many, many, many wonderful social business ideas um, with potential entrepreneurs. Um, we have um, decided to focus on three particular areas, one of them being nutrition, uh, the other one education and finally agriculture and environment. So in these fields we're looking into social business um, ideas um, and we have great, great uh, proposals and are investing in wonderful um, uh, social businesses like one of them for example being a vocational training schools uh, particularly focused on um, uh, the young, uh, young uh, people and young women in particular of course in, in Haiti that are now um, left without uh, jobs and, and, and work and so on so the vocational training school in, and also an IT, IT training centers are, are um, great social businesses that, have, that are been, being set, set up there, there. Um, we've, um, we're working with a, a local um, smallholder farmers um, to generate higher prices for them and to set up a business that has exactly this goal um, we, we also um, are looking into um, a, a mobile dental, a dental clinic and so on and so on. So you can imagine there are many, many opportunities because there are many challenges and every challenge is therefore also a social business opportunity. So this is uh, what we're doing in Haiti. Um, and I was thinking, of course, as I said before, Japan and Haiti are completely different places, but still both of them were struck by this incredible natural disaster. And we believe that social business can also be a solution for Japan. Um, it might be different areas. Maybe it's not exactly those three areas that I just talked about. Maybe it is, for example, environment. Uh, with the radiation, of course, there will be a long-term problem for Japan that needs to be dealt with. Maybe we can create social businesses to address exactly this problem. Um, what about health? Um, health, of course, many people have been affected in terms of their health um, uh, through the earthquake, through the radiation and so on. Maybe we can do something in this particular field. Maybe it's also uh, um, agriculture in general. I think there are many, many um, areas where um, we can also become active with um, um, social business um, in, in Japan. Um, and um, I really would like to invite all of you, um, be it you as an individual, you as a foundation, you as a member of a company, to think about what can you do and, uh, and, and, and what, what can be done for Japan right now. Um, of course, the government is, is very generous right now and giving uh, relief um, uh, money to, to every single um, person that has been affected, etc. 
let's think about it. How can we use this money that it can be used in a sustainable way for you to run your own business? Um, how can maybe a company uh, be generous and show solidarity um, uh, with, with, with the people and, and find a way that um, they run as a social business or they have a subsidiary that runs as a social business? I think there are many, many, many things that we can do, do in Japan. Um, and also in that sense draw parallels uh, uh, with Haiti even though uh, again there are completely different places. Um, it could be a social business fund just as in Haiti. Um, that, um, we've actually as a matter of fact had uh, conversations um, with JICA for a social business fund so they are familiar um, of course with the idea of a social business fund. We were talking about Bangladesh but maybe now uh, um, this would be an idea to actually use for Japan itself that some of the relief money maybe, maybe just a percentage of the relief money goes into these, uh, this kind of a social business fund um, to build the country sustainably. And with that I'll leave you today. Um, you can check us out on the internet, um, you can write us, um, ask us any questions or also please feel free to get in touch um, with, with our um, Japanese partners. We have of course already started the social business movement there. There is GCL at Kyushu University led by Professor Masa Okada. Get in touch with him. There are the companies that we have uh, partnered with and set up joint ventures in Bangladesh, Uniqlo um, and also Yukikune Maitake. Get in touch with them. Uh, they will be very encouraging, I'm sure, as well. We've made the first step in social business and in the social business movement in Japan. Um, now I think the movement is needed even more in the situation that we're in. So let's take the next step together. Looking forward to working with you all. Thank you very much and um, arigato gozaimasu.